Following the NBA All-Star break, the Memphis Grizzlies schedule was ready to hit the team hard with back-to-back matchups. As Chandler Parsons looked to rejoin the squad and see some floor time, this could have been a poison pill for his 2018-19 season comeback attempt. Entering this weekend's two games versus the Los Angeles Clippers at home and Cleveland Cavaliers on the road, respectively, it was unsure what type of role Parsons would play for the Grizzlies. Would it be a few spot minutes here and there? Or would it be an actual role packed with meaningful minutes? Though the Memphis Grizzlies went 0-2 following these two matchups, the answer was the latter. Chandler received 19 minutes on Friday followed by a 17-minute lug on Saturday. Head coach JB Bickerstaff has thrown Parsons into a significant role, ahead of some deserving guys, for a very important reason. This summer, as the Grizzlies attempt to trade Mike Conley prior to entering their first full season of the rebuild project, it is safe to say that they will be looking to find a suitor for Chandler Parsons, too. While there has been a small amount of traction from opposing NBA teams in regard to trade interest in Parsons, discussions should increase around June's NBA draft. By then, Chandler will be entering the final year of his contract. This will make it easier for any team, even if it happens to only be the Memphis Grizzlies, to negotiate a buyout or tolerating over the 82-game haul. By implementing Chandler Parsons into game action during the final 23-game post-All-Star stretch run, Memphis is hoping that their veteran's wingman proves that he has reached full health and can produce when his name is called. Over these two back-to-back -back contests, Parsons has been attempting to find his shot and get back into game shape. It will take some time, especially since he was not fond of conditioning in the G League via the Memphis Hustle. More from Beale Street Bears in the past two games, he is averaging 3.5 points, 3.5 rebounds, 1.0 assists, and 0.5 steals. As we previously stated, his shooting still needs some attention as he is 14.3% from the field, including 12.5% from a long range. The Memphis Grizzlies sit next to last in the NBA's Western Conference with a 23-38 record prior to Monday's meeting against the Los Angeles Lakers. Now with their star rookie, Jaron Jackson Jr., sidelined indefinitely, it seems as if the Grizz will only go down, rather than up, in the current league standings. With that being said, why not allow Chandler Parsons to handle significant minutes? He has been wanting to play, and at this point, Memphis should at least attempt to get a little bit of production in return for the large sum of money they are paying him this season. Plus, it will only help his trade appeal ahead of the offseason's impending discussions. Overall, things are looking up for Chandler. When he parted ways with the team in early January, it felt as if it was the end of his days in a Memphis Grizzlies uniform. It is not only surprising to see him make a return, but to actually play, especially in back-to-back -back games. Next, Memphis Grizzlies, five under the radar mid-major NBA draft prospects Friday and Saturday's appearances by Chandler Parsons is the first back-to-back -back days of game action for him since March 3rd and 4th of 2017, nearly two years to the day. All eyes remain on him to see if he really is back.